Duly noted, this is the amazing Dr. Chris Kirby, one of my classmates from Logan College of Chiropractic, and we're here to show you the myotone dance. So if you need to go through the various myotomes, it's a quick way to do a neurological exam for radiculopathy associated with a certain spinal nerve level. If you're finding only one of these to be limited, that can be uh, related to radiculopathy, if multiple levels of peripheral neuropathy. So let's start with the first one. C1, C2 is capital extension. Kirby's gonna stay here, and I'm gonna push him out of it by pushing him into flexion. Go ahead and fail, there you go. Then he'll go into neutral, shoulder shrug up. For C3, C4, he's gonna shrug. I'm gonna push on one shoulder at a time. Good, for C3, C4, all right? Up you come, he's gonna go into abduction. I'm gonna push one at a time. And for him to fail, would be to push him into adduction. That's C5. C6, I'm gonna put him here. We're gonna test elbow flexion. I'm gonna pull one at a time and see if either fail. Failure would look like this. C7 is tricipital extension or elbow extension. I'm gonna push him in on each side and failure would look like this. Good. Uh, <clears throat> wrist extension. C6, I'm gonna try to push him into wrist flexion. He's gonna maintain extension and that will be a fail. Good. This looks like seven for C7. This is wrist flexion. Try to pull him out of it and watch for him to fail. Good. C8. Makes a figure eight. Notice how Kirby and I are making figure eights. So I'm going to try to pull him out of the position. Failure would look like that. Extension of the thumbs, C8. I'm going to try to push down. And failure would look like this. Great. Now we go into uh, T1. He's going to spread his fingers apart to test the pads and dabs. And he's going to squeeze in, right, to test adduction. And I'm going to push him out for abduction. Good. Trunk flexion T2 to T12, you're gonna do one second at a time. Kirby's gonna cross his arms over, and I'm gonna bend him at C2 and try to pull him out. I'm gonna pull you out, Kirby. C2, C3, C4, T4, I'm sorry, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, T9, <clears throat> T10, T11, T12. So from T, so T2 to T12, trunk flexion at the various abdominal segments. Now we're going down to the L-spine, L1 hip flexion, Kirby's gonna do one at a time, L1, L1. A failure would be being able to push him down. Again, success, failure, good. Adduction is L2, so I'm gonna have him push in, L2, failure, it look like this. Being able to abduct him. L3, it's gonna be knee extension, so push, push, failure, it would look like this, knee flexion. I'm gonna come over to his foot, put him into dorsiflexion and inversion, so he's gonna dorsiflex and invert, and I'm gonna try to push him out of it. Failure will look like that. Dorsiflex, good. You invert, good. I'm gonna try to push him into plantar flexion and eversion. Good. Now, that was L5. L5, we're gonna push him into abduction, so I'm gonna try to push him into adduction. Failure would be pushing the thighs out. As we come down to the bottom of the foot, he's gonna push his heel down. We'll have a debate with this one if it's L5 or S1. So have a push into Hip extension, failure would look like this. Hip flexion. And then going down to the great toe, he's gonna push his great toe up, L5, L5. If he fails, I'll push him into flexion of the great toe. S1, plantar flexion with eversion. Failure would mean pushing him into inversion on your side. Evert, failure looks like that, okay? So if you're doing a dance and you're making it faster, it looks like this. C1, C2, don't let me push. Good, shrug up, don't let me push. Good, uh, here, don't let me push. C5, here, don't let me push. C6, don't let me push. C7, here, don't let me push. C6, here, don't let me push. C7, C7, here, don't let me push. C8, right here, don't let me push. C8, here, don't let me push aside. Don't let me pull you out. T1, okay, front flexion. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Coming back up, L1, L1, L2, L3, L4, L4, L5, 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 S1, S1, and S2. Dorsiflexion, dorsiflexion. I'm gonna try to push my dorsiflexion, he's gonna maintain plantar. Good, and the last one, S3, S4, is anal wink. We're not going to show you that one. <laughs> I might fail. <laughs> so 
So I hope you can learn a little bit of myotome dance and it speeds up your neurological exam. It can help you differentiate between radiculopathy and peripheral neuropathy. Thank you, Curve, especially for the anal wink. And we'll see you next time.